Hey there, I'm Carl Schmid and I'm HIV positive and undetectable. None of this was planned and thought out. There wasn't sort of a, okay, I'm going to disclose my status and this is what's going to happen. Um, it happened very organically and and I'm glad because I'd been toying with the idea. So I've, I'd, I'd been, at the point I disclosed in March of 2018, I'd been HIV positive for 10 years. Um, and my friends knew, my immediate family knew. People in my work sphere, one or two people knew, but I never really talked about it for a number of reasons. One was me being HIV positive doesn't affect what I do for a living, as far as I'm concerned. I turn up, I do my job. And two was, I'd been, you know, advised by good friends who work in the television and entertainment industry, sort of, well, I, do you really want to become known as the guy with AIDS? And I said, well, first of all, I don't have AIDS. Um, and secondly, yeah, it sort of weighs on your mind. Do I want to be pigeonholed as the HIV guy? Um, because again, it's not really got anything to do with how I do, how I do my job. So uh, I was following an Instagram feed called the AIDS Memorial, which is a great feed and I recommend everybody to follow it. And, and what it does is it celebrates and remembers those that we've lost, uh, especially in the height of the AIDS crisis of the 80s and 90s. Then you can buy a t-shirt and the money goes to various uh, charities that help with HIV housing and funding and things like that. So I bought this t-shirt, it sat in my closet for about three months and it was a Friday afternoon uh, and I was going to meet my friends for happy hour. I raced home from work, I sort of got changed and I looked at the t-shirt I said, well, I haven't, I've never worn this, I'll just put it on. I was in a bit of a hurry. Went and uh, had a couple of martinis with some friends and I said to one of my friends, can you do me a favor, take a picture of me in this t-shirt? Uh, at some point I'm gonna have to post something, I don't know what I'm gonna post. I took the photo, uh, I went home uh, with one of my best mates, we had another drink at my place and I, was, I went, that's quite a nice picture of me. I don't look too bad in that. And uh, I said, oh, okay. and that was kind of it. And I said, well, I'm done. And my friend said, don't do anything stupid tonight. And I said, what am I gonna do? I've had three martinis. He left and I was flicking through the AIDS Memorial thing again. And then I went, well, I've got this picture. So I emailed the guy and I said, look, I don't have a story of an uncle or someone that was close that I lost to HIV AIDS, but I can tell you my story. And with that, my little fat fingers went to work. And I, I sort of read it back and I went, I did, okay, and hit send. And he replied straight away going, this is great, thank you so much, I'm gonna put it up on the site. And then I went, well, I've done that, I'm, I, I, I might as well stick it on Facebook. Did that, shut my laptop and went to bed and had a great sleep. And I woke up the next morning went to the gym and I noticed a few kind of bumps in my Instagram and I thought, oh, that's nice. I've got a couple of followers, no worries. Uh, and then I got a text message from a friend saying, did you see this? And somebody had picked it up and written a story online and, and tweeted about it. And I thought, oh, well, that's nice. Good deal, but that's nice. Okay. And then I, by lunchtime, the little red numbers on my Twitter and my Instagram, I started getting these, not, and I'm OCD, I can't stand, I don't, if you look at my phone, my inbox is at zero. Like I'd never, because I can't stand having unread messages. And this thing just kept ticking and ticking and ticking and ticking. I was like, what is going on? And, but my boss said something straight away. She said, you know, we love you and we think you're great. And of course this has no effect. We, you know, we 100% behind you. But she said, but if I'm really honest, I don't think this is a news story. And so the, the spin of this now is, yes, I have become the HIV positive guy. Um, but I get messages across social media daily. And they're mostly from people saying, I can't talk to anybody. I live in shame. Um, but seeing you and looking at your life on Instagram and Facebook, you make it all okay. And so thank you. And so you know what? If me being me and being honest about me and just talking quite blatantly about my situation helps one person feel that they can step out of the shadow a little bit more, then I am very, very happy to be the HIV positive guy.